Hello, my name is Emily Hammond and I'm a new director on the board at OPAC. But more importantly, I'm a cancer mama. My son Griffin was diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma, a rare and aggressive muscle cancer that presented in his eye orbit when he was only 22 months old back in 2011. But now he's 10 years old. He plays clarinet, he's a purple belt in karate, he's a huge nerd and he loves to read. But most of all, he's a survivor. But not all of his cancer buddies have been so lucky. When your child is fighting cancer, the whole family fights cancer. It is important to support the whole family. We also found that after treatment ends, so does most support systems. I think it is also important for groups like OPAC to not only support families through their fight, but also beyond it, following and supporting throughout survivorship, relapse, and bereavement. Personally, I found OPAC to be an important charity in our story, as they have been able to train and support our Hamilton Parent Support Group which literally got me through Griffin's fight mentally. I was able to be inspired by the Hamilton group and start the Niagara group. OPAC trained my husband, Marty and I um, to better prepare ourselves for taking on such an undertaking, as well as supporting us through the process, not only financially, but also passing on wisdom, support and advice. Our Niagara group has grown and evolved. As our core members move farther and farther away from their cancerversaries, we find less and less need for emotional support but also feel the need to support our cancer community going forward. So we as a group have found that we enjoy community service projects. We were able to start the uh, Courage Cape project through the Ronald McDonald House in Hamilton, uh, where we sew and donate uh, Courage Capes to every kid and their siblings who stay in the house. Uh, but since COVID has hit, we've pivoted our efforts and have been making homemade masks that we give for free to the cancer community. Not only locally, but we've sent them to BC, Yukon, Barrie, Hamilton, Toronto, and beyond. Our Niagara group works closely with the Hamilton group and have been known to adopt good causes, like building a picnic table at our favorite camp, collect donations and foodstuffs to fill an empty pantry at Ronald McDonald, serve dinner on the ward of Mac, the list goes on, but the message is clear. Our cancer fight might be over, but our commitment to the cause is never, ever done. We fight for those that are still fighting, have fought and those that have laid down their swords. Charities like OPAC give us a community where we feel safe, supported and loved. I'm proud and honored to sit on a board of such a wonderful organization and I look forward to see what we get up to next in the next 25 years. Remember, you're never alone. Keep safe.